producer's picks. And now, the feature so many of our listeners wait for each day. Producer's Picks. Jared Diglio is here to tell us what's on his mind and what stories are piquing his interest. Go ahead, Jared. So the Washington football team, formerly known as the Washington Redskins and the Boston Redskins before that, is an absolute mess. Um, They're an absolute woke PC mess. Who owns them? Do you know? Dan Snyder is the owner. Got it. Who okay. is, by all accounts, everything I've heard, not at all a, a lefty guy. He's, uh, as I understand it, a conservative uh, Republican donor. So uh, what's going on with the Washington football people? Well, I don't um, know what to call la- them anymore. Last season, the Washington football team, who they expect to have a team nickname soon, um, as it were. They are replacing the league's longest-running cheerleading team, which was founded in 1962. With what? Kind of. As a part of the organization's what rebranding, I guess, they are replacing the cheerleaders with a co-ed dance team. Well, okay, so dancing and cheerleading were two different things. When I was they at, are. When I was at Providence College, they had two separate uh, groups. They had the cheerleaders and they had the dancers. And... The dance team would sometimes come out, I think, at half times or whatever the sport was, basketball, and they would do actual dances. The cheerleaders would be on the sides cheering. Um, and I know that it differs depending on the schools and stuff, but they're just two different things. Oh, absolutely. But, however, one of the quotes from uh, Petra Pope, who uh, uh, was a dance choreographer, she was a Laker girl in the 80s, According to the uh, article, and she'd worked with the L.A. Clippers, things like that. She has been hired to oversee the implementation of the new dance team. And one thing that they're excited about is the with the co-ed dance team with males and females microaggression is they can use the strength of the males to perform certain features, dances, moves, things like that or I think they're called stunts. Um, that may be a gymnastics term. I don't know. But they can use the males to do things that the females couldn't do. Oh, so we're going to have to take that out all, of the podcast. We're, uh, guys, are you listening back all, there? Edit this out of the podcast. That was a major microaggression. Yes. Anything you can do, I can do You better, better. watch your microaggressions, bro. Sir. Thank you. I better. So Mattel, the makers of Barbie... Uh, yes. They are releasing a new doll for International Women's Day. What what kind of doll? Uh, it looks like um, whatever I don't a uh, fashion doll like Barbie. It's a Barbie doll esque. Who do you think they chose for? AOC. No, not quite. Um, is it? But it is, is it is another uh, liberal icon. Oh boy, first is she lady. A... Oh, Michelle Obama. Nope that that's a good guess. Think think further back. Oh, I think further Hillary Clinton, Eleanor Roosevelt. Wow, really <laughs> far back. So so inspiring, and definitely in a frame of reference that today's uh, today's children will get. The kids are just, and and people wonder why kids are on TikTok and you know just staring at their phones. It's like these are the toys they're getting. Eleanor Roosevelt. No offense, but nobody, none of these kids know who that is. No, they have no idea. And she's she's wearing a dress, and a period-appropriate dress as well, which, again, watch those micro... I, I, so crazy. Just so crazy. Just buy, buy your kids a Dr. Seuss book. Call it a day. <laughs> All right, so this has gone viral. I don't know if you've seen this. Uh, the big story today is the Fong's Pizza in Iowa has a pizza on the menu that's a dessert pizza that has become the viral thing that's taken over everything. I have not seen this. I'm surprised. It is called the Loopy Fruits Pizza. Is it Fruit Loops? It is Fruit Loops or some type of cereal that is like Fruit Loops. And it's a, a your normal pizza dough. It's just a regular crust. Right. And it has a... Kind of uh, a cream cheese sauce. You kind of like uh, probably it looks a little whipped, 
in place of what would be red sauce on a pizza and the Fruit Loops on top. It's like, okay, that's not great. But they put the mozzarella. Jared, on. what are you talking about? That's not this entire thing sounds disgusting. No, okay, so the, it, it's like a like a, a rice crispy bar. It's kind of, you know all cream right, cheese. It, well, no, I, I don't like cream cheese, but I'm just saying I like I understand like cream cheese frosting on red velvet cake or something is it, like that. Oh, it's is a it dessert a, thing. is it a sweet cream cheese or is it just cream cheese? No, no, it's like a it's like a cream cheese frosting type. Of okay, thing. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. different. That's or like different. in a whoopie pie or something like that. And then they put the cheese on top. The mozzarella. And then they cheese? put the mozzarella on top. That's disgusting. It's just it is. So terrible. And uh, one Twitter user called it a sacrilege and affront to every Italian. So I'm waiting to hear Chris Cuomo's and Andrew Cuomo's take on uh, the Loopy Fruits pizza. You know, I was just thinking about Chris Cuomo because during the break, the uh, the sound plays of um, Chris Cuomo when he originally had coronavirus and he did that whole spiel where he emerged from the basement. He acted like he was like Jesus Christ um, rising on the third day. It was really embarrassing. And I was just thinking how much things have changed for him over the last couple of months. I mean, like we're all coming into this year right now going, wow, I can't believe last year this is when it started. But for him, it must be like, wow, last year I was on top of the world. Everyone thought I was the coolest guy. I was jacked. I was working out. I was in my house in the Hamptons. But even though I yelled at someone for yelling at me about social distancing, nobody cared. My brother, the love gov, was America's most eligible bachelor. We were the royal family of New York. And times have changed. A year can do so much. It's almost like when you don't have one person to focus all of your Mm. hate on, to use the insider industry term like Joe Scarborough, the Klieg lights turn on you yeah and and to to be honest there's nothing in this world um that unifies people more than a common enemy and trump for the democrats was he was such a unifier for them he brought them together their infighting subsided for a while because they could always go back to the base of we all hate donald trump and when trump is golfing and when trump is uh, when Ivanka's in Miami enjoying a cup of coffee or jumping off a yacht, that drives them crazy, but they can't fixate on it anymore. And I, I agree with you. I think they're all crumbling under the pressure of a world without DJT. And since we are coming up on St. Patrick's Day, I should note I did get my shamrock shake, and that texture was right. It is not as good as it used to be. So props to the texture. He warned me, but I had to try it anyway, but it's... It's not as good as I remember, but nothing ever is. I've never been a big it's fan. It's still tasty. Of, I've never been a big fan of the food coloring shamrock shake situation. I'd rather just get a McFlurry, but that's just me. Or maybe a Sunday. The Sundays are delicious, and they're so cheap. It's like a dollar oh, yeah. You get the hot fudge, you know, and if you ask them to put a little bit of extra at the bottom, the key with hot fudge, guys, is getting it at the bottom of the ice cream. You don't want it just on the top. That's a hot tip. So... You know, St. Patrick's Day, everything Irish, and actually coming up, we've got the Howie Car crossover sponsored by McConnell's Irish Whiskey. On top of the morning to you. The United States Census Bureau, uh, source from 2012 to 2016, broke down American communities of Irish ancestry and what percentage of each state's population is Irish. Okay. Where do you think, well, where do you think the biggest Irish ancestry is? What state? What state? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. At Come least, on, Jared. At least 15% of the residents of Massachusetts can trace their ancestry to Ireland. Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Connecticut. Makes sense. It's in the same area. They also can trace their Irish heritage. So the uh, big Irish in the Northeast. Southie. I mean, that's where my parents are from, South Boston. It's very... Uh... That's why Joe Biden feels so at home here. Good Irish Catholic boy. Devout. Exactly. Devout, See, I, some would say. I'm a Curly, which is an Irish name to begin with, but I'm marrying a Gallagher. And in Ireland, they say Gallagher. So I, I couldn't be more Irish if I tried. Not to brag, but when, when we do the car crossover, I might have to bring this up. Guys, when we get back, we'll be talking to Howie Carr about the hot topics of the day. I want to know how things are going in Florida. A lot of these states are opening up. Florida is definitely ahead of the curb on that one, and we want his take. 
But first, Eden Pure's famous BOGO offer is back for this week only. For the first time in history, they are offering the Gen 40 heater BOGO just for our listeners. That's right. It's buy one, get one free. This is a $300 in savings. For how cold it is um, still at night, you're going to want to take advantage of this offer now. The offer is available for just this week. So do not delay. This is an incredible savings. And gas and oil prices have already skyrocketed. Robert from the Cape says... The Gen 40 heater perfor- performs like no other heater I've ever used. And I do have to say, this is a great heater. It will save you tons of money. But it's also a very safe heater, which people like because, you know, space heaters sometimes freak people out. You're afraid it's going to knock over or it's going to catch fire. These are incredibly safe and they'll keep you really warm and they'll save you tons of money. And I do have to let you guys know, this is the best deal they've run on this since I've been here. So you might want to hop on this ASAP. The Eden Pure Gen 40 will pay for itself in a matter of weeks. Uh, With this deal, it's more like a matter of days. Go to EdenPure.com, put in code word GRACEBOGO. That's EdenPure.com, use code word GRACEBOGO. This is a uh, one-day sale, so act today. EdenPure.com, don't forget the code word GRACEBOGO. We'll be back on the other side with the Howie Carr crossover. Don't go anywhere. This is the Grace Curley Show. She's never held office, but she paid the Whiskey Priest's monthly rent once. She's Grace Curley.